This is my intro. This is my intro. Ugh. Problem solved. Yep. I'm so. Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If it is your first time here, welcome. How are you? If you are one of my sugar cubes, how are you? Welcome back. This is going to be a different type of video. Seeing that the weather is getting a little colder, I figured I would like to talk about some products to keep you moisturized but smelling good. I might actually title this video Smell Good, <laughs> but we're just going to go over my favorite scents and my favorite products along with the scent. So the very first product I'm going to talk about, a little backstory on this company. I remember when this company was much smaller and they had a kiosk at my local mall and I loved their products back then. I used their, their lip scrub because I don't know if you guys know, if you guys watch my makeup videos and you hear me say a lot of times in my voiceovers and when I do talk throughs that my lips get very, very dry. I mean like, <sniffs> takes up all the moisture out my chapstick and then they just dry. <laughs> and especially now that winter is approaching, my lips get very, very dry. As soon as it's cold outside, my lips are like the Grand Canyon. So I used their lip lip scrub and I think it was the bubble gum. Yeah, it was the bubble gum flavor and I really liked it. It helped me get all the dead uh, lip skin off and it made my lips really smooth. And I had a spray. Actually, let me get it. This is probably such an old packaging because their packaging is new now. Their labels are new. This is uh, body mist and it smells so good. Like, I don't know if you guys can see how much is left and mind you um when i got this bottle i used it so much and i still have it i still have it this company is called jltc this company provides products chock full of ingredients that will benefit the skin whether it be on your body your face your lips i love their products i have a body butter they were kind enough to send me this body butter and it's in the baby powder scent it looks like this now the reason I feature this body butter as opposed to like all the body butters that I have is that it's in the baby powder scent. Now a fun tip about me, I'm very simple when it comes to scents. I know some people have body chemistries that don't agree with every kind of scent out there. Personally, I try to stay away from sweet sweet scents and even the musky scents like honeysuckle. I tend to stick toward very clean clean scents, very reminiscent of nice soap <laughs> type of scents, and apple. The reason I love this, I wish you guys could honestly smell this. It smells like pure like Johnson Johnson, like Medea voice Johnson & Johnson <laughs> baby powder. And the ingredients are coconut oil, beeswax, shea butter, essential oil, fragrance, and vitamin E. And a little bit of this goes a long way. As you guys can see, I've used quite enough of it. What I like about this body butter is that it keeps my skin feeling moisturized throughout the whole day without it feeling greasy. Now my skin type on my face is oily and my body skin is actually like normal to dry which is interesting. And I hate when um, body butters, even lotions for that matter, feel really good going on but you're slippery. Like you know someone went, goes to shake your hand and they just <laughs> slip right off. I hate that greasy feeling. This body butter actually does not have that at all. Like I said, it keeps me moisturized all day. The scent is amazing and I'm actually very happy that they sent me this particular scent because of the simple fact I always wanted to try it. Like, I remember it when they were at the cart when I got this throwback mist, which I still use very, just really a little bit. Oh, this not even work. The mouth won't even work, whatever. I'll change the bottle. <laughs> but it's made with organic ingredients which I love. So scents like baby powder, scents like really clean soap. I remember there used to be, when Gap Body was around, there used to be this perfume and it was, uh, I think it was the only perfume that Gap Body actually had and it smelled like pure, clean, nice smelling soap. I love clean scents. That's my number one scent is to smell clean. Anything that smells clean, like I said, like soap, like baby powder, scents that aren't overly robust because baby powder is baby powder do you understand like it's baby powder you, you smell this on people you smell this on babies 
and I love the way this smells. I just wish you guys could sniff it. It smells so good. So my number one go-to scent will be something clean. Most likely it will be paper. Ugh. Most likely it will be baby powder. That's why I absolutely love this body butter. This, besides the fact that it works amazing, it smells like Johnson and Johnson has like a hundred baby powder bottles in this. <laughs> Now the second scent that I love, and this comes from my love of the actual fruit, is apples. My nickname actually, in one period of my life, I'll say it like that, was apple. And I love the way apples smell. Now Victoria's Secret used to sell a lotion. You know how they have like usually the 525 and like their collections? They actually had a collection that was Enchanted Apple and it smelled so good. But this is probably when I was like... 17, 16, I don't think I was 16, I think I was like 13, anywhere between 13 to 15 years old. This is when they had the scent and I absolutely loved it. One thing about um, Victoria's Secret lotions, which I don't like, is that they're very, very perfumey. Even though the scent is there, it doesn't really do much for your skin except give you a scent. So my homegirl, shout out to you homegirl, you know exactly what I'm talking about. She is a walking bath and body works store. And the more I started hanging out with her, the more we would end up in Bath and Body Works by accident. <laughs> it always had coupons. So Bath and Body Works has this collection called Country Apple. I have a lot of the Country Apple products because of the simple fact that Country Apple is only available when it's their annual sale. So like around no semi-annual and annual sale. So like in the middle of the year and toward Christmas, you can only find the scent. Now granted, Bath & Body Works does have another apple scent called Winter Candy Apple. I don't really like that one too much. It's too sweet. Country Apple literally smells like you just walked onto like an apple farm and everyone around you is cutting open a red delicious apple at the same time. This smells clean also. Like even though it's apple scented, it's smells clean. It smells like you just washed a nice apple, it's cold, it's crisp, you cut into it and then it releases all its apple scent. <laughs> That's what that smells like. Like I said, I have a lot of these products. I tried to use them on special occasions because you don't need to use body wash and scented lotion on a day-to-day -day basis. You need to be moisturized, you need to, you know, exfoliate your skin and be moisturized on a daily daily on a daily basis. So I tend to use the scented stuff and the perfumey stuff if I'm going out, like if I'm hanging out with my friends at the mall or going out to eat or going out on a date or stuff like that. And the last thing I want to say is um, Bath & Body Works, well my friend and I went to the mall recently and we just hopped into Bath & Body Works just to see it was there and they had a whole like fall type of section. I think they had something with peaches, they had something um, it was peaches and apricot, but all I know is that they had something with apple, honey. And I was like, but it was like, yeah, we have extra. I never forget her name was Flower because she had a flower headband. And she was like, yeah, we have some stuff over there with pumpkin and apple. I said, Miss, Miss, where's the apple? And I really want him. So this scent is champagne, apple, and honey. I have a couple of products from this line as well. Again, this is Bath and Body Works. I prefer Bath and Body Works over Victoria's Secret because the scent, the scent is still as strong as Victoria's Secret, but the products are way more moisturizing. Like I feel like the body wash actually cleanses you without so much alcohol in it. I hate when body washes and even sprays and misters, misters, misters have so much alcohol in it. You can smell and you can't smell the actual scent. I like Bath and Body Works products. Um, because it's a company with a strong scent as well as moisturizing properties. So I have their body cream, which looks like this. I have their body scrub, which, tell me why this is the cutest thing. It looks like applesauce. It looks like, now this scent, this scent actually smells like apple, still clean, not overly sweet, but it smells like an apple candy. Like if I had to describe it, I'm going to try and pull out all my adjectives out of my built-in thesaurus here. It smells like an apple candy. Like, you definitely smell a little bit of the honey. Because it's champagne, apple, and honey. And because it's champagne, apple, like, just some, I don't know if you guys ever had apple soda. I had it for, like, the first time a couple years back at a Peruvian restaurant. And it smells like apple soda with like a hint of something sweet, but it's not overpowering. It's still very clean. So in conjunction with the body cream, the 
applesauce looking body scrub. I do have a body wash, just like that, a whole bunch of apples. And I do have the fragrance mist, which looks like that, which you can see I used a good amount of. So basically my favorite scents of all time is baby powder and apple. Any variation of baby powder or soap scent <laughs> and apple scents, I will be there. That's what I like to smell like. Now granted, like I said, I know everyone's body chemistry doesn't mix well with certain products. I have a body chemistry that pretty much mixes well with anything that I put on top. I just don't like certain scents. Like I don't like the heavily musk scents. I don't like sandalwood. I don't like, um, what's the other thing? I don't like uh, really, really sweet scents. Like I don't want to smell like a Starburst. I'd rather eat them. But <laughs> yeah, comment down below what you guys' favorite scents are. I want to thank JLTC for sending me this body butter. Thank you guys so much. I have been using it. I love it. I just, oh my gosh. This is a good portion of my day that I just come home. And if I have this, I'll sniff myself and I'll literally come and be like, oh, it smells so good. I'm just like, well, you have on the body, the, the baby powder, body butter? And I'm like, yeah. And she goes, yeah, I smelled it when you put it on from out the shower. And a little bit of this goes a long way, which is nice because I'm little, I have a little frame, I have a little body. And this spreads beautifully, it spreads like butter. And of course, my apple scented stuff. So comment down below what you guys like as far as scents. If you guys know of any um, brands that carry like baby powder scents or even like really clean smelling soap scents or even more apple scents leave them in the comment section down below i greatly appreciate it i want to talk to you guys in the comment section tell me what some of your favorite scents are do you like bath and body works over victoria's secret vice versa have you heard of jltc do you know any companies that sell more baby powder scented products like comment down below i want to thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video and Stay blessed.